All right, last alliance of noobs and men. I really am impressed. The fact that you responded in such detail so quickly shows that you just wanted to win this challenge. But did you win this challenge? I'm gonna reserve my judgment for the end of the video and just wait until then to see if you really pulled it off or not. So first off, my favorite part is that I didn't even send the video to you yet. I posted it Friday night my time. I'm in the US, you guys are in Queensland, Australia. And so I posted it Friday night my time and Saturday morning my time. I was going to send a post a comment with a link on one of your videos. And I woke up Saturday morning and you guys had already commented back. You found it. So first off, I'm super proud of myself for making such an enthralling thumbnail that Sean, you just couldn't scroll past it. You just you just had had to know. You just had to know what was in there. And lo and behold, you found it was a challenge to you. I think it might be worth uh, for any of us to, to rewatch the original challenge and imagine that we were Sean just oh, on the weekend scrolling through and then you click on the video and then you see your own channel in that video. I think that would just be um, worth experiencing. Secondly, I'm also very, very pleased that I didn't see lists from you guys like mm, four ballistas, um, eight trebuchets, um, as many bomb teams as I can fit. Thank you for actually using units that walk around and that aren't machines. I was really, really impressed with that side of things. All right, my reactions to each and every one of your lists. And the first one was from Dylan, the rattle can man. I think I just shook my own, made my own light. It's really easy to get carried away doing that. Your idea was the Balrog with a bunch of spells to shatter Sauron's mace. I love that idea to shatter his mace. Hadn't thought of that. That would really give you an advantage in combat against him. I love that idea. Uh, I, I do like the visual of just like, Sauron, Balrog, boof, boof. But by turn 12, it's like, okay, I'll roll my four dice and you roll your four dice. It could, it could get a little boring. Uh, so creative, yeah, okay. Um, if I was Sauron, would I be scared of that? No. All right, the next one from one of the 18 Shans at the Last Alliance. The Hobbit list. A whole mess of Hobbits, 50 plus, I believe. Um, Lobelia Sackville Baggins. I do want to see a one-on-one -on -one duel with her umbrella versus Sauron and his mace, because I think that would make for an interesting moment. The Piece de Resistance, Tom Bombadil in that list, that's actually, I would want to see this game where, where Tom is just nullifying Sauron endlessly and like, the ring, it doesn't even matter. Because that's what I think he sounds like. So that list, it would at least be very enjoyable to watch. It's a pretty good list, Sean. Liam's list. Liam's list was the Necromancer and a Nazgul, some hunter orcs, some spiders. So do, do, you, do you realize that, um, so they found out actually later that the, ne the necromancer's Sauron. So uh, it seems as if your idea to combat Sauron was take Sauron. <laughs> Although I'll give it to you, that's, that's a pretty cool duel to imagine. Lots of magic, lots of uh, just big beefiness going back and forth. I do kind of want to still see it. Uh, your list, okay, is, is creative in a very uncreative way. So, yeah. I was expecting a Dale list. Tabletop Ramblings commented right away. Uh, so, we're gonna see Dale here. Um, it's pretty cool that Esgaroth bows would only need to roll three plus to hit, and then a six to wound, and then you reroll the sixes into sixes. So just sixes by sixes to wound. I mean, how many Dale bows could you get in a 550 point list? Yeah, that should probably take him out. So I'm proud of you for showing restraint and not actually throwing a Dale list back. But your actual contribution, your winning list was from Jules, I believe. And uh, this is what you shared. It's a spider queen with some spiders, Druzag, and a bat swarm and some spiders, and Durbers just so the alliance with Moria works. As you started to describe what an enraged spider queen could do, and just how many attacks, and at what strength, 
and with a knockdown bonus against Sauron that the Spider Queen could get on the charge, it actually started to make me a little afraid. If I was Sauron, I actually don't want to be facing an enraged Spider Queen. And Druzag's 5 will, that is enough to keep it going for a while. Also, the Bat Swarm, yeah, that's a beautiful technique to put in there. It's not worth Sauron Chill Soling because it has 4 wounds and you just keep it alive as best you can to win those fights when you're not striking. That was another great technique. And so if I was Sauron, I actually would be a little bit afraid of how many threats that really could put the hurt on Sauron that this list brings. I am really impressed with the creativity. It's not a siege weapon. It uses magic in some really cool ways. It uses monsters against Sauron. Wow. And so all that to say, did you win this challenge? Yes. Honorable mention for putting a puppy on the table and letting him gnaw and nibble on the Sauron model. That would, I think, do some damage to Sauron too. So uh, that was another creative idea. You guys just have so many dog related suggestions for the Middle Earth community. And so I believe there was one final request to see me cry. A little callous, a little callous, but um, I could see why you would ask that. I could see why you would ask that. And so in order to, to really to really get into this, this is how I'm going to imagine that I am the leader of that Hobbit list that was brought in. And I have these 50 three foot tall, adorable little men barefoot on the slopes of Mordor, cut feet ragged, adorable, colorful clothes. And they just look up. And they know they're never going to see a second breakfast again. And it is that thought that just can't quite bring. I, it's dry still. I mean, I'm a tiny bit, I'm a tiny bit wet right here. Um, second breakfast little sausage, tea, muffin, biscuits. I got a little lip quiver, I think, but I just, ugh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, hey, I just wanna say bravo, Last Alliance of Noobs and Men. You rose to the challenge, you were actually creative, and came up with some amazing suggestions. So everybody, show some support to Last Alliance of Noobs and Men. Thumbs up on this, go see their channel. They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Hey, I just got a bunch of new terrain. Gonna feature it in the next battle report coming out soon. So stick around for some awesome edited battle reports. Goodbye for now. <laughs>